Hello, world. Hello, it's Why Invest Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Sometimes we forget our days as we, we go through this uh, coronavirus time. Um, hope you guys are doing all right out there. Is anybody with me here? Let's see. Not yet. Um, yeah, it's a funny joke. What's your best uh, COVID-19 meme? Post it in the comments for me. Um, yeah, we'll get started here. Um, just wanted to kind of bring you all a market update as um, things are ever-changing in our real estate world. Um, I do have two active listings, been doing some creative things um, with that, uh, virtual showings available, professional video, Matterport walkthroughs. If you uh, want to check it out, let, let me know. I've been playing around with video and lighting and green screens and uh, things like that, so it's gone pretty well. Um, but yeah, that's that's super cool as that goes. Um, Last week, I uh, came down from DORA and Colorado Association of Realtors and the Attorney General that in-person showings um, were no longer um, considered essential. Uh, that's given us quite the shift in the real estate market. Um, I have uh, obviously complied with that guideline. I have done some, so what I did was do some virtual showings with um, all the technology and all the photography and art art per se that we have and I have put together basically a virtual showing which is pretty cool so um, those have obviously been a little bit different as you know usually when you put a listing on that you get physical showings pretty quickly um, but those are still available I did get a call on one today so hopefully that comes to fruition but um, just wanted to you know, let you all know that there are no in-person showings currently, but we are definitely doing everything we can to um, bring the, the in-person showing experience. Now, once you are under contract, it goes back to a little bit more normal. Obviously, social distancing, things like that. You are allowed to have an inspection. The appraisal can take place, and we can close the, the deal. Um, there's all kinds of great title companies out there. Um, I have a closing with Fidelity National Title tomorrow. Um, they are doing curbside closings. Um, realtors are no longer um, going to those. We're attending virtually, so we're there. Um, but that's just a similar change to, that's taking place with all of this stuff. So, um, so once you can get a contract in place, you can definitely go see the house um, at the inspection is kind of the interpretation I've been handed down. Um, obviously, we're still limiting the number of people. Don't bring your whole family. Um, that'll have to wait till after. Um, so yeah. Um, other than that, um, virtual showings, obviously, creativity, all kinds of stuff. I've seen some great virtual showings out there. Um, it is, obviously, interest rates are still low. If you are able, haven't had any interruption in employment, things like that, you are still able to... Um, you are still able to get a loan and typically those loans have pretty great interest rates. So um, that's gonna kind of be there, I think, once we open back up. And I think that will really help us um, catapult into the third quarter probably is when we, we expect it to be a little bit crazy. Um, maybe a, a spring type atmosphere in the fall for uh, real estate, at least here in Colorado. So um, that's always there. Um, forbearance, I talked to a lender today and there were 500,000 new forbearance claims last week, according to the statistics that she had in the Cole Ruth Fairway Independent Mortgage, um, the stat guru. Uh, definitely, we are still concerned about forbearance as that does eventually affect everyone. Um, there was some news on JP, um, Ch JP Morgan Chase this weekend came out. They are raising their credit minimum to 700 and requiring 20% down. Um, that's huge news. Uh, I think I heard somewhere there about 1.1% of the total loan 
mortgage industry. Um, so there are still loans out there. Um, Chase is just not doing them. Now, if the forbearance continues, we may see some sort of um, some sort of change in in the rest of the mortgage industry. We're kind of waiting what Wells Fargo, what the the bigger um, mortgage uh, services are going to do as a result. So keep an eye on that. Um, if you do have a low down payment and you're shopping, definitely check in with your lender. Um, if you are waiting to buy until this is over, I would use this time to save money and build your credit. Um, you know, what used to be possible in the low sixes, high fives is no longer probably possible. So every lender is a little bit different. But what I do know is if you have a higher credit score, you'll have more options when we get to that point. So um, that's definitely something that we can talk about on offline here. Um, and we'll just kind of go from there. As for as for everything else, uh, I'm staying healthy, family staying healthy, um, really working to stay inside and social distance ourselves while still providing service to clients. Um, I'm sure some of you have seen, I've provided some meals for nurses and firefighters in the community. Um, my police officers, you guys are next. So uh, just special thanks to all those people who are still um, out there putting themselves at risk every day with this crazy, crazy disease. Um, and that is, is what I'm doing. Um, again, anybody who's going through a hard time, please reach out. Let me know. We're going to get through this. Uh, hopefully a lot of us can get back to work um, and we can go from there. But just wanted to say hello. Hope you're all doing well. Reach out. Um, I do have some calls to make for my uh, April um, house anniversary. People will do a real estate review on that. So um, we'll be talking to you soon. But if you have any questions, let me know. It's crazy. Uh, don't believe everything you see on the news. Uh, don't even watch the news if you don't have to. Um, it's pretty sad stuff sometimes. So I think we're uh, working towards this. I saw yesterday pretty late in the day we had seven new seven deaths in Colorado. Terrible to have any, but that number is a lot lower than it has been. So I think we're we're working through this and prayers and thoughts go out to anybody who is affected by this. If you lost, lost a loved one, absolutely um, terrible. We're thinking about you guys, praying for you. Um, let me know if you have anything else and uh, we'll talk real estate next Wednesday. Um, hope you guys have a good night and we'll talk later. Cheers.